Well, welcome back, you lovely weirdos, to this video today. I'm going to be showing you how to sign players outside of the transfer window in FIFA 17 Corona. And if that is something that gets your nipples nice and hard, I most humbly ask that you go ahead and smush it, smush it hard right into that like button because it really helps me out, especially with YouTube being all of them wonkies right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. We are on deadline day here, and all y'all love deadline day. You get 10 unearthed hours to do all your business, but there can be a sticky situation that this trick or a kind of a glitch can help you out with. Now, you get those 10 hours. Let's say you want to buy, you know, like a really big name player or something, but you don't have the funds quite yet to get it. So you put your players up for sale. You make some sacrifice. In this case, we're going to be selling the likes of Jamie Vardy and uh, Daniel Marty uh, out. But let's say in this situation, you sell those players, but the other team is late to getting back to you and you have the money now, but you don't have the time. There's only two hours left in the trans window. You don't have the time to go through all the negotiations, you know, the player contracts and all of that. It's just simply, you're screwed. But with this technique, you'll be a-okay. All right, so as you can see, players have been sold. We sold Amarte, we sold uh, Jamie Vardy, but you only have two hours left. What do you do? What do you freaking do in this situation? Basically, you probably have to restart your career mode, but you're pretty much screwed. Now, what you do is you sim ahead one hour, and this is crucial, remember this, only one hour left on deadline day. Then you go to search players, or if they're in their, um, on your shortlist, you go over there. In this case, we're looking at Marcus Rashford. You go over and you hit inquire. All right, very key, you hit inquire about them. Don't try to buy them, don't try to loan them, just hit inquire. And we're gonna go in for uh, Timothy Fosu Mensa as well. And after you do this, after you inquire about both of them, remember, do not ask uh, to buy or loan, only inquire. You're gonna go ahead and then sim forward one hour into the next day. Yes, transfer deadline day, will pass that's going to be completely fine as you can see this is going to be one long take and the speed up some parts you know so you know the video doesn't meander but as you can see transfer deadline day has ended but timothy post Mensa inquiry and the rashford inquiry are still in your emails and they will stay in your emails for the entirety of the month so you have the end of january till the end of january to make a move on these inquiries as you can see i'm simming ahead just to showcase that there's still going to be yeah, as you can see, they're still in there, and you can still act on them. Now, uh, here's the here's another key thing. Don't try to get them on the cheap. Whatever they ask for, just pay. Just straight up pay, because you don't get a second shot at this. If you mess up in the transfer window, you could go back and forth, kind of haggle the deal down. But in this one, if they don't like your deal right off the bat, you're screwed. You're not going to get a second chance at it. Now, when it comes to contract offer, though, you can haggle. They can decline um and then you can kind of go back and forth on that i believe but for the most part i don't want to mess around with it i give them pretty much everything that they want and you can go ahead and sign them up as you can see i'm pretty much doing everything that marcus Rashford would want from me in this situation i'm going to do the same for fosu mensa i don't want to risk any of it and as you can see i'm going to go ahead sim forward get past these games and there you go Timothy Fosu Mensa is going to do the same thing. Five years, you know, important first team. I just want to show you this in all one continual take, so I'm not like editing anything or there's no other tricks. There are a couple other videos, I believe, like out there. I just want to get this out to my uh, main viewership as well. And there you go. Contract offer. You can go ahead and accept Marcus Rashford in the middle of August. And it's pretty nice just so that you can go ahead and get them early on. But there's a couple of sneaky methods that you could do with this. You know, let's say, uh, do a whole bunch of inquiries, why not at the end of uh, your transfer window in case an injury pops up, then you can go ahead and replace a player with a quality player. You get Timothy Fosumensa. Or, if you want to be super sneaky and backhanded about this, is what I, I figured out. We just stole two players from Manchester United right there. We faced Manchester United later in the month or if you know there's a huge matchup let's say you're like neck and neck with manchester united or manchester city you steal one of their players outside of the january window they're screwed they can't replace it because they can't do this cd underhanded trick so if you really want to undercut your opponents that's another way to use this method now remember uh to quickly review it has to be the last hour you have to inquire on the last hour do not buy do not look to loan uh, secondly, it'll last the full month. After that, you can't archive. If it goes into the archive, you can't access it anymore. So uh, that is pretty much it for that. And then make a fair offer 
on both the contract offer and what they inquire about. And then pretty much enjoy. As you can see right here, we had Manchester United later in the month that are going to be down a couple of uh, good youngsters when we go ahead and face them. Anyway, that is pretty much how you do it. If it did help, once again, I ask you to go ahead Hit that like button, share with your friends. If you want more helpful tips video from me, I have a video over here that'll tell you how to find regions in FIFA 17 career mode, as well as a video that helps you double your transfer wages at the end of each season. That one is crucial, click right here. And if you like career mode stuff, go ahead and check out my eyes career mode. If you want to see something a little bit different than, you know, BPL and La Liga, I humbly ask you to go ahead and check that out. I put a lot of work to it. My name is Iman, so hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.